And in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, Paul says to Timothy, he says, be strong in the grace that is in the Lord Jesus Christ, my son. In verse 2, he says, commit the things you heard, you heard from me to other people who will tell it to other people. And I'm like, yes, awesome. Be strong in God's grace. Remember your calling. Tell other people about the gospel. And then verse 3, he throws this punch. He says, and endure suffering as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. My friend, the problem with us, with me, is that we've spent too much time at the believer level and many of us have not transitioned to the disciple level see a believer comes to the cross to see the beauty of God a disciple gets on the cross to see the dying world the believer comes to eat of Jesus a disciple is someone Jesus says he who follows me let him deny himself pick up his cross a believer learns love thyself a disciple learns die to thyself a believer is somebody who believes a disciple is somebody who dies a believer is somebody who values comfort a disciple is somebody who values the calling of Jesus one is the baby the other one is a soldier and some of us who've been in church for too long who reject any discomfort it causes to our schedule our wallet or our life to follow Jesus as the Lord is not leading me into that please forgive me you're a fat baby that needs to grow up it's not the leading is that you're so good with your diapers and your Christian daycare but you've been in the Lord for 30 years it's time to pick up the cross and lay aside your laziness, lay aside your addiction to comfort, lay aside your addiction to your sin, lay aside your child, childness and say, Lord, it's time. Because see, you feel that inside of you, like, man, something is missing. Well, of course something is missing. Imagine you being 25 years old, running to your mom for her breast. Yes, something is missing. That's not supposed to be like that. Paul says in, in uh, Hebrews, he says, by this time you should be like teaching others. By this time you should be eating meat, meaning go killing something and eating it yourself instead of drinking milk. By this time you should have your senses exercised so you can discern. He says, but a lot of you are still babies. And that's why the idea of suffering throws us into a cold sweat. Because many of us now if you are a baby believer, it's still only been a few months or a year, this message is not for you. It's for somebody else on that live stream right now. Just, just relax. Receive that. Keep growing in the Lord. I'm just talking to those people today who honestly have outgrown spiritually and who have become and developed spiritual diabetes. They've really just lost that. And, and they keep complaining, man, something is missing. So that's what I'm going to tell you what's missing, my friend. You need to become a disciple and the challenge to disciple is not come and believe the challenge to disciple is come and die the challenge to a believer is come and live the challenge to a disciple is come and die and you keep coming to come and live when you have to take a step and come and die and Jesus says the promise is you will find your life more fulfilling when you no longer focus on your life but focus on the Lord